Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about the Logitech G613. And this is a keyboard that I've been using for the past year and a half. And it's a wireless mechanical keyboard that's for gaming. And it's a really nice keyboard in terms of the overall keys, the sound. So let's give you a quick close-up of the sound here. I think it's pretty satisfying. Uh, so, yeah, in terms of overall quality and fit and finish and comfort, it's really comfortable for the typing and what I've been doing. I've actually been using this at work and yeah, a little bit for gaming, but mostly for work. I like the number pad. I like overall all the keys here. There is a, the response is really good. I like that I have a play, pause, stop, and then forward, as well as mute and volume controls here. And then I also really like that this can be controlled via Bluetooth, as well as the USB. So it has a quick connection to this, and this is a really good, or much better for response. And yeah, uh, it's nice that you can store it here as well. And it works on AA batteries, and that's nice that it doesn't have to be like an internal battery. So, and then it also has these adjustments so that you can make the keyboard at a better angle. So this has been, super comfortable for me as well. So there's a few function gaming keys here, obviously has the function row here, and it's a pretty big keyboard, but in terms of overall comfort, I think it's really nice and it's easy to use and is a standard keyboard. So no weird keys out of the ordinary, no pressing wrong buttons, that don't belong in certain places. It's a fully standard keyboard, which I've really enjoyed. Now, let's talk about the bad things. So overall bad things about this G613 keyboard. So first thing, really wouldn't say much of a complaint, but uh, if you can see this here, um, I've been using this for about a year and a half, and you can see this key right here on the M. It, the marking is actually coming off on this. So it's also coming off on the E and the R. So I would say in terms of longevity, it doesn't seem like it's something that would last super long. Uh, you may have to put a different sticker or something like that on the key, but I don't particularly have an issue with it because I'm not really looking at my hands when I'm typing. So that's one of the things. I really like the noise, but um, this thing gets really dirty and it's not super easy to clean it. So that's one thing, but I don't think any keyboards are really that easy to clean. So uh, one of the things that I would probably mention, it's double typing. So I, I asked the Logitech team about this and they sort of responded with, that's how it works. So sometimes when I type and I press the space bar or something like that, it does two spaces or I type uh, a letter and it types two of those letters. So while I'm working, this is actually very frustrating. And I tried changing from the USB to the Bluetooth and still, still have the issue. And then I tried to update the firmware, uh, still not able to change that. Oh, there, and then I just speak to Logitech and they're like, oh, well, you have to actually download the uh, G-Hub software and make sure that you have the latest up-to-date software and firmware for it. I did that, still have the issue. So this is just a known issue with this keyboard. So that's one of the reasons why I probably wouldn't buy this keyboard is that uh, at the moment now, it seems to be pretty cheap, but I think it's looking at the fact that this keyboard is not super great at not double typing. So with that said, I can't recommend this keyboard because of that. Now it's now 
I think $80 online now. So, you know, a much better price than what I originally bought it for. So uh, I would say you probably skip out on this G613 from Logitech and maybe buy a wired one and maybe that will remove any of those issues that you have in terms of double typing. But yeah, just in terms of the keyboard, everything seemed good on paper and everything seemed to work well, but then I started noticing something consistently happening where I was typing and then suddenly double tap. I'm like, what is going on? So I think, uh, I'm not sure if anybody else, uh, I've looked at some forums and nobody really has an, it, like has resolved this issue. So I can't say that I recommend this because of that specifically. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.